Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to use slider. There is another widely used response in the study design, that is test response. We can also easily develop it using one component in CyclePy, that is text box. Today, let's have a look at how to use it. And in this tutorial, we will also have a quick look at how to use code components. Now, let's first add a text box component to our project. We can see that the interface of text box looks quite similar to the text component. The different point is that text box has a choice, editable. If we check this box, a new line will show up. Let's delete the text in this box first, and I will explain the reason later. Here is the thing that we want our participants to see before they enter any responses. Let's change it to type your answer here. This placeholder sentence will automatically disappear when the participants start to type and reappear if participants delete all of their responses. If we enter some text here, participants will see those texts before they're typing anything. And they need to delete those texts manually. So we don't need any other words in the text box for this project. And remember to set this as set every repeat. Let's add a question for this response. Let's just say question 1, and let's adjust the location a little bit. And let's add a button for ending the task. Let's resize it and put it at right bottom. Okay, let's have a look now. In normal cases, we will have several questions in one experiment, which means we will use loop for most of our studies. In previous tutorials, we learned about how to set the text in text component using condition files. Let's insert a loop here. And I have a condition file looks like this. Let's change the text as question, variable, condition. Here we will see a problem. PsychoPy can't identify this variable if we put it into a sentence. How should we deal with this situation? We can use code components. Let's add a code component here. We can see here we have several tabs. In this tutorial, I will just introduce begin routine quickly since we only use this tab in this project. We will have a video to introduce the code component in detail. So the code we put in this tab represents the things we want CyclePy to do at the start of the current routine. In this case, it's a text routine. We want to set the text in the question component. So let's say question.text equals to questions plus condition. Remember, in the code component, we don't need to add the variable symbol. The name represents a variable, just like what we do in Python. OK, let's see whether it works. Great, it works. That's all for today's tutorial. Hope you enjoy it and learn something from the video. If you have any questions about today's content, please leave a comment. See you in the next tutorial.